Welcome back to Cactus Core Plays Trauma Center New Blood. I'm Dr. Kavandri. I'm just Bobby. He's he's not a doctor. He's a nurse. Because at best he helps me but doesn't actually actually do the thing. So he's he's Nurse Bobby. I think you've got that the other way around. I've been with a lot of doctors. Doctors write the note and then the nurses do the thing. It depends on the thing. I suppose. I know with like surgery it's different. It's like the dentist does the big things. But his his dental hygienist does most of the other things. Yeah. So, you know, I'm actually doing the thing and then writing terrible notes with my handwriting that's awful. Yes. And I'm just on the side absorbing. You're the uh, you're the performer and I'm the cameraman. Yeah, I'm the talent. Yeah. Implying that I'm the talent. <laughs> seeing as seeing as how I'm the one who's doing most of the behind the scenes shit for this channel, I don't know that that's true. Sure it is. Oh, I guess so. It has to be. Otherwise, I would feel mostly useless. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. Uh, let's see what happened last time. We got kidnapped by that dude who I think is. Probably Steve Bloom, but I'm not really sure if it's actually him because sometimes it sounds like him and other times it doesn't. It could just be a guy who sounds kind of like him. I'm not really sure yet. But yeah, we got kidnapped. Sounds good. I mean, a good kidnapping goes a long way in a game. Yeah. Totally, nagotally. Okay. Do we remember what his motives were? Did, did he say why we were kidnapped? Well, I don't think he did, but previously we met him because he wanted drugs and he couldn't get drugs. Right. He couldn't get you flask. But I don't know why he would go cross country. Because he's stalking us, obviously. Because we met he... him when we were in L.A., and we weren't even the ones who pissed him off. It was it was that other chick. He wasn't actually there to get drugs. He was there just to scout out the place and get an eye on us. Is he the dude who's, who's sending out stigma to everybody? Maybe? Probably. Interesting. Well, let's see what's happening with this thrilling kidnapping plot. Yeah, coercion. Corkian. No. Nice dartboard. Oh, you're a dartboard. Where am I? Are you alright, Marcus? No. Dr. Vaughn! Val. Elena. That's right, we've been kidnapped. Are you two okay? Well, they haven't treated us too badly. Yeah. But take a look around. Look around, look around at how shitty this place is. Look at this big ass chandelier right above your bed and all these candles. Yeah. What is this place with this dartboard and like. It is the, well lit. The CRT behind the TV. Dude likes to get lit. That seems like a very bad place for the TV to be. Why would you do that? Behind the bed, you mean? Yeah. So that way you lay on your stomach and you're able to watch. No. An operating table. I can guess why we were brought here. An operating table? That's a bed. It can be an operating table. You're an operating table. But are they going to keep us locked yeah. up in this room? So nap time's over, huh? That's a hell of a mask, dude. Yeah. I mean, it looks like the dude like from the Heaven and Hell... like fucking thing from uh what's it you're uh, having problems with words this morning hitman blood money <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah i don't like his hat i don't Why? like the hair sticking out the side to it. show your face bam get wrecked bitch who yeah, are we you? can't all be immortal vampires like you dude marcus is the best you're in no position to be asking questions just keep quiet and do whatever operations we need okay that's why you have us locked in this room yeah there's only one thing you need to know there's one thing you need to know. It's uh, Aaron Burr behind the mask. You yeah. belong to Kidman now. And you're going to help us research stigma, like it or not. Oh, shit. Out, we were doing that anyways. Exactly. Nice little business you got here. Oh, music changed. So you're the one Serious who business now. For stigma? No. Your first patient is ready. Treat her. Do I have to do nothing but stigma we now? aren't your slaves. I'm not looking and forward to that. I refuse? If you want to ignore the patient, then go right ahead. You'll only be hurting yourselves. Yeah, I mean, like, don't you have to do, like, the Hippocratic Oath or something, and you have to treat them anyway? You see, That's the every idea. time you fail an operation, your food rations will be reduced. Oh, good. And if you make the boss angry, well then, your worries will soon be over. 
Make your decision. I'll be back shortly. Okay. I feel like we got transported to Zero Escape. Uh, so we're gonna no. play along, right? Oh, I guess not. Yeah, th this game's better. <laughs> no. Let's just think about the patient for now. Ten times better, at least. <laughs> I think no. that's the only thing we can do. Nine hundred ninety-nine times better. And her character is not nearly as good in this one as it is in Zero Escape. So, that too. She wears a nighty this whole time. That is true, but I like Phi better. I don't suppose we should hope for a miraculous rescue, huh? Should we start digging our way out then? Yeah. Like with a spoon? Or with all of these surgical tools? <laughs> hey, Marcus. Do you think they're the ones who kidnapped Professor Wilkins? Maybe. Or maybe Wilkins, you know, is actually kidnapped. In all kidnapped. likelihood, yes. How else could they know so much? Then, is the professor... I hope he's alright. <laughs> Here are your scrubs. Hurry That's up and the change. Andromeda dude. Yeah. You again. Hey, don't get any ideas. Or I'll let my buddies in here to play with you. Why are you doing this? Hmm. Wouldn't you like to know? Yeah. yeah. But that's, I should thank you. That's why you. we asked. Because of you, I can buy myself a new car. A new car. I hope you drive yourself off a cliff. Oh, good one. Later, later, Thelma. This stigma is called onyx, the claw that tears its prey. I don't like it's this. It's living quietly in the host's pancreas, and it's about to reach maturity. I really don't want to do stigma all the time. It's Hang like my there. least favorite part. We'll save you. You expect us to operate without proper sterilization? Just do it. Oh, it's Shia LaBeouf. Marcus. We've got no choice. If it becomes infected, we'll deal with it later. Carlotta Santos. All right. Five foot two, I, ninety-seven pounds. I can't believe this. Neither can I. But we have to focus on treating the patient. Now, what does the chart say? What does the chart say? Let's see. The affected area is the pancreas, and the stigma is called onyx. And that's it. That's all we know. markers fluctuate over time. The numbers vary wildly beyond normal ranges. This is ridiculous. That data doesn't provide any help at all. Good point. But if it's accurate, then the stigma's appearing and disappearing over time. This data is too unreliable to determine a treatment plan from it. Yeah, it's almost as if you're in like uh, a shitty forgot. side room Use rather than a serum. hospital. What do we need a serum for? For this operation. Just use it like you're told. Motherfucker, tell me what it's for. So then, this strain of stigma has to be treated with a particular serum. That's good to know. At least we won't be entering this operation completely blind. You pretty much are. They don't usually have this here. Interesting. The claw, huh? The claw! Let's begin. Liar Liar was a great movie. It was. <laughs> it's, for, it, for its time. It, no! <laughs> Son of a bitch! God damn it, I hate this. Goddamn fucking shit so motherfucking much. Ha <sighs> ha. Okay. BRB. Alright. Come on, Marcus. Don't let me down. The claw, huh? There we go. There we go. This is hardly the ideal location, but we have no choice. So, An unknown pathogen and a mystery medication. Nothing's normal about this situation. We need to get a look inside her first. Let's see what this claw they keep boasting about is. So you guys um, took a they couple didn't... tries to get back. They didn't really keep boasting about the claw. Like the okay. yeah. Yeah. But yes, it took us a couple it's of tries. It's possible that it's hiding somewhere nearby. Let's use the ultrasound to find it. Whoa. 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 Where? To let it hide. Find it with the That's what I was trying to do, asshole. Yeah, just 
stop sucking at me. It's dangerous to let it hide. Thank you. Find it with the ultrasound. We've locked onto a shadow. Please make an incision with this big spider. Son of a hide. Find it with the ultrasound. It is very small and beautiful. You son of a bitch. Is it dangerous to let it hide though? Yeah. Should we find it with the ultrasound? It's oh to let it hide. my god. Find it with the ultrasound. Jesus Christ. I'm willing to let this one die. Yeah. It's dangerous to let it hide. Like, this is some bullshit. I'm going all over the fucking place. You keep on going it's up to the corners, and it, it seems less likely to be hey. there rather than the big center. Look where it showed up. Hey, look what you also still missed. The other one who can't find a little blue dot. I was right there! And I want to kill Elena. So this is Onyx. Inject it with a serum. Purple! It's dangerous to let it Purple! Find it with the ultrasound. It's dangerous to let your face so that's hide. it. Ache. For Dr. Vaughn and... The pain of without a part, they both they just leave. The field yeah. They just leave this kidnapping. Yeah. They just walk out the door. Alright. Let's try this again. We kind of know what we're doing. Kind of. This is you gotta find it, you gotta incise it, and you get a look really inside. Fast. And it's, it's dangerous to let it hide. You gotta find it with the We can't confirm. It's highly possible that it's hiding somewhere nearby. We've so this is Onyx. Inject it with a serum. What? Onyx has gone into hiding again. Track it down with the ultrasound. It's hiding again. Whoa, 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 whoa. The main body reappeared somewhere else? Was that some kind of thing? It's making copies of itself to confuse us. Purple. We'll find it, no matter how much. It's dangerous to touch the false onyx. Oh my god. It's working. Don't be fooled by the fakes. Let's finish this thing off. It's dangerous to touch the false oh, onyx. Can I just, no. okay. That would be really convenient, but well, it's just, you know, sitting out there. It's dangerous to touch oh, the false onyx. How am I supposed to know which one is the real one? They all look exactly the same. Vitals have dropped? How am I supposed to know which one's the false onyx, you stupid bitch? It's dangerous to touch the okay, false onyx. that's great. You can keep telling me that all you want, but how am I supposed to know which one it is? Swear to God. I'd love to suture them. That's the wrong one, for some reason. Are you seeing a difference? No. This looks exactly the fucking same. Oh wow, you actually hit zero on the vitals there for a second. I... I know. Look! 
copies are shaped a little differently. Are they? Make sure it's the right one before cutting it. Yeah, if only there was a good example of the good one and the bad one. Leg. All right, fuck these fucking. Is that it? No, purple. Okay, the bad ones only have three white dots. It looks like. Yeah, that was Copies it. Okay, are shaped I see. A little differently. I see what you mean. Son of a Copies are shaped bitch. A little differently. Make sure it's the right one before cutting it. Green. This is really This is frustrating. Yeah. Good find on that one. Gonna do it. Let's, let's treat the remaining ones and see what happens. I hate this one. The onyx has disappeared. We, there are no remaining wounds. If only there was an option to have her not talk. Let's hurry up. I probably could operation. do that. I just don't want to miss important things. I know how to make her not talk. Oh. We don't have much time. I hate being their accomplice, but at least it's over. We saved the patient. Let's just leave it at that. Yes. I'm glad we got through that. Great work. But if she tells us something important, I don't want to miss that. That's the problem. I mean, like, just have her voice not activate. Just have a little pop-up thing. Yeah. I can probably turn off voice acting, they expect but, us to sleep but then we'd here. have to do the voice acting. You must be joking. And I'd like most of the voice acting here. Yeah. Well, they won't break us, no matter how hard they try. I know it won't be easy, but let's try to keep our cool. They've already got this you doing surgery the Ritz, for them. But we should try to get some rest. Putting on the Ritz. Yeah, you're right. Good night, Dr. Vaughn. Dr. Blaylock. Good night, Elena. Well, bang, okay. So the operation was a slam dunk, huh? Excellent. Better than one of you. <laughs> Looks like they've earned their keep. So, when will the next patient be ready? We estimate that the patient will begin exhibiting symptoms in approximately one week. Yeah, that's that old guy. Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait. Can, can you not? Hey, look, zero escape. Let's go. Oh, right. We've just performed, you know, the completely legal for surgery. Three days now. On, What's going on? A patient on? in a non sterile environment. So she has dead. no reason to believe yeah. that a rescue team Probably. is on its way, and there's been no talk of a ransom. I hate to say this, but the situation looks grim. Then, should we start planning an escape? We could use our scalpels as weapons, but the risk is too high. I don't think we should. It's better to wait a little while longer and see what their next move is. Was that a gunshot? I'm scared. Scrap the scalpel idea. Let's use anesthesia to knock him out. But first, we need the key to this room. <laughs> it's Get just like Zero Escape. It's just like ah! it. Motherfucker. <laughs> What's going on here? Save him or let him die. I don't care either way. All right, I'll let him die. Yeah. He's nothing but Easy a traitor decision. to us. This is a shotgun wound. Please, help me. <laughs> okay, if you got a shotgun room wound from Serves inside right, the Howard. place. See what a to mess he's got himself into. Let me be clear. He's dead. Uh, might depend on where he got shot. Do you see the blood wound right in the middle of his chest? I did what see I was that? Hired to do dead. So, so I thought I'd split. Right, you don't start coughing up blood from a shot in the foot. You know the rules. He's bleeding profusely. He needs a transfusion. We need blood. Artificial is fine. So you're gonna operate on him? You must be crazy. I'll get you the blood. But you'll owe me. Fuck you, dude. Yeah, no, fuck don't. you, you piece of shit. Jean-Paul Bassin. Multiple shotgun wounds to the chest are causing severe hemorrhaging and require multiple immediate treatment. He's dead. He's coughing up blood and suffering from dyspnea. It's likely there's a pellet in his lungs. 
We're in a race against time. Yay. Wait a second. We don't have any stabilizer. What? All we have left is a small amount of antibiotic gel. Oh. Well, no. shit. We can't perform an operation like this. I mean, you can. <sighs> I don't want to. We don't have a choice. He won't survive unless we operate. Now. Yeah, it's fine. He's an asshole. He, he kidnapped you. Yeah, yes. let him die. As long as we still call ourselves doctors. We can't just leave him to die. Yeah, you can. You totally can. <sighs> Understood. Then please, treat the external wounds and extract the shotgun pellet lodged inside his body. There isn't any stabilizer, so please be careful of the patient's vitals during the operation. This isn't gonna be fun. Nope. Beginning the operation. From looking at the gunshot wounds, the patient was shot in the chest. Specifically, in the right lung. All we have is what's left of the antibiotic gel. Please try to conserve it. But we need the gel to treat the gunshot wounds. What'll we do if we run out? If worse comes to worse, we'll just have to suture them. It'll drop his vitals, but we have no choice. Understood. There's the Apply a synthetic membrane and fix it. All right. It's hemorrhaging. The shotgun pellet has been removed. Please apply. After draining the blood, you have to perform the next. It's been properly placed. Let's move on. We've gone through a little less than half of our remaining supply of antibiotic gel. We're running low on the gel. We're almost completely out of gel. Well, the external wounds have been treated. <laughs> hey, hey. Let's continue on to extract no the pellets from inside the right lung. No Please gel. open him up. <sighs> and you have like only 32 vitals. It's hemorrhaging severely. The patient won't last long at this rate. There's the pellet. The pellet seems all right. The shotgun. There's no antibiotic gel left. Vitals we'll have to dropped? suture the wound. Just as we thought, suturing the wounds. Now drain the blood and extract the pellet. He's gonna die. Yeah. Rip. Yeah, I think you're supposed to be using the uh, the healing so you touch. Couldn't hack it after. All. I guess I'll let the leader know, just in case. Yeah, fair enough. For Doctor, look without a they both. Covering his vitals like this. Please close him up carefully and don't let your guard down until you're finished. Okay. We finished. Hooray! I've kind Damn. of realized just how valuable the stabilizer is. Yeah, no shit. Yeah, it's the best thing that you have. That was an operation that only the two of you could have performed. I didn't even use Great that work, fucking healing touch, motherfucker! Yeah. It turns out you've been splurging on antibiotic gel this whole time. Yeah, if rookie. I was, if I was the uh, hospital accountant, I'd be mad at you. Nice work, Doc. Thanks, fam. The boss has decided to let him live. 
for <laughs> now. Just shoots him. Besides, yeah. we can always use his organs later if needed. Who is this boss of yours? Ooh, did didn't they say before? Okay. It was okay. Kidman. Yeah. He's got connections. It seems. Nicole Kidman. Well, maybe you'll have a chance to meet him. I really don't want to. Just want to go home. Yeah. Is that is that so much to ask? Yeah. At the end of every day, just go home. So, um, I know that this has probably felt like a pretty short episode to you guys. It's been pretty long for us having to restart this shit. Yeah, we had to restart it a couple times. Um, I'm going to let you know that if we keep running into this, this disc issue again and again, we're probably going to completely bail on the game. Um, but for now, you know, next week we'll still be Trauma Center, but still, we've, we've had this problem a lot and I'm getting yeah. pretty sick of it. Um, there's only so much that even a really good disc cleaning thing can do. Yeah. Disc resurfacing. Right. So we're going to call it here for this one. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do a shout out to a stupid flash cartoon. No. called Dr. Tran and it's about uh, a small Chinese I, I think he's Chinese boy um, and for some reason everyone calls him a doctor and he's like I'm not a doctor um, it's it's really really stupid and yet it's amazing so I'm just gonna put a link in the description that that's it just... that's it that's it it's a small Asian child who is not a doctor, but is referred to as a real doctor all the time. Oh. And uh, okay. he's just like, what are you talking about? It's is, is there wacky situations? Wacky hijinks. Okay. He's got great friends. Uh, one of his friends' grandmother is amazing. Um, I just keep hitting little boys. Um, in, in, in the car on the way to Toy Cack. Um, <laughs> Okay. So it's it's pretty great, you know. Take off your top and get killed by Greg Kinnear. You know, that's that's just, you know, a classic jingle. Yes. From Dr. Tran. We all know how deadly Greg Kinnear is. Yeah, exactly. And I'm just doing a shout out to Dr. Tran because, you know, he's a real doctor just like we are. Yes. Real doctor. How about you? Um, my shout out is going towards a real doctor. Jon Snow. He knows nothing. I'm not making that up. It is a good name. Uh... British physician Jon Snow from 1913 or 1813 to 1858 uh, is considered a founding father of modern epidemiology. His novel approach to investigating the source of an outbreak of cholera in a crowded section of Victorian London allowed to be traced to a contaminated water pump. His research ultimate led, ultimately led to a better understanding of communicable diseases, resulting in changes in waste and water management while laying the groundwork for the creation of epidemiology as an important component of public health. That was, a, was an early, early proponent of anesthesia, which we have ignored in this episode, <laughs> and medical hygiene. Yeah. So, yeah, clean hospitals and them tracing down where shit started. Jon Snow. Mr. Know Nothing himself. Yeah. Very impressive. But, alright, guys. We will catch you next time, and hopefully we won't run into any more bullshit. We're gonna. Oh, yeah, probably. But, okay, bye. Goodbye. Bye.